Hey guys, it's Quisha. Welcome to my channel. Today I created this cute, fun, purple, pink toned New Year's Eve look. There's pink, there's glitter, there's lashes, there's color, there's shimmer. I had a little bit of a hard time recording this video. I had some struggles. I was hungry. If you want to know how I got this look, please keep watching. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do just yet. I only kind of know the colors I want to use. I'm kind of feeling pinks purple glitter yes shine me up shine me up shine me up sign me up <sighs> okay let's get started I went ahead and did my brows off camera and i used the anastasia beverly hills what who was that i used the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in the shade ebony and to clean up my brows i used the tarte shape tape in the shade deep and I also use a ColourPop Brow Boss Gel just to kind of lay down and separate my brows. So they look extra fleeky for the new year. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes and I'm using the P. Louise Eyeshadow Base in the shade Rumor 3. Are y'all ready for the new year? Do y'all have y'all... Huh? Do y'all have y'all... Your resolutions? <laughs> Together? I'm just going to use a dry... Um, beauty sponge to kind of pat this out move this around I'm usually like not a resolution person I want to get some backdrops <laughs> I either want to do backdrops or I want well I'll probably have backdrops until um, I get my furniture in here in this room because this is also my workspace I work in here so behind this curtain or this yeah, behind this curtain is my um, my work computers and my work setup, like my work laptop and all that. So, and it's just, it's not cute, it's ugly. So that's why I have this white um, drapery or whatever you want to call it. I really don't want to use backdrops. I kind of want it to be like, you know, showing my back, showing the background, showing my room, personality. I feel like backdrops don't really offer much personality I don't know that's just my opinion I don't know girl I feel like I'll have backdrops until like I have furniture in this room all right, so I have three palettes because again like I said I'm not sure what I want to do I only know the colors so I have the Huda Beauty the desert dust palette this is a beautiful pink purple tone palette so I'm thinking about using that one I also have the Stacy Marie be perfect carnival palette So those pinks and purples, probably definitely gonna use these two. Maybe even this one. And then I have the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, which is just, you know, it's a very colorful palette. So it just offers all the colors I'm probably gonna need. All right, so I'm gonna start with the um, Desert Dust palette. And I'm gonna use the shade Amethyst, this bright purple shade right here. And with that right in the crease, I think I'm gonna like put that in the crease and then maybe use some pink to blow it out. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, let me see. Yeah, so one of my goals is to get my room together this year. I just moved in here in June, so. The room is together enough for like my workspace, but it's not, it's not together enough for like recording. So I want to do that. I want to do some traveling. I want to save some money. Like I want to save like a certain amount of money. And I want to be more consistent with working out, but who doesn't? Isn't that everybody's like goal or resolution? So today is New Year's Eve Eve. For New Year's Eve, we're actually having a party here. I've never like thrown a party before because I don't really have like a lot of friends. This brush is like loose. Um. Oh, and this is the Elf blending brush, by the way. Like I said, I've never really thrown parties because I don't really like have a lot of friends, but um, it's gonna be a very small group of people, like 10 to 12 people, nothing crazy. And it's mainly my family. Um, my best friend 
um, another friend I grew up with and her husband, um, Mike, my boyfriend, his best friend and his wife. And I think my brother's bringing a, a couple of friends. So that's pretty much it, which I like. I mean, we don't have like a huge house or anything. So like I say 10 to 12 people is a cute amount, you know, for a nice little party bring in the new year i think i'm gonna do a halo eye i haven't done a halo eye in a minute some glitter in the middle excited it should be a lot of fun i'm excited to like host a party that's like i feel like i would be really good at like hosting parties i used to want to do that like um for a living like i used to want to like plan be an event planner hold on my lips ashy I am about to knock this brush be up. <laughs> oh, my baby, my bad. This brush is only a dollar anyway. So how has 2018 treated you? 2018 was pretty good for me. Um, I can't complain. 2018 was pretty good. I switched to a new position at work, which allows me to work from home, which is, <laughs> I love it. I really like working from home. I'm not really a, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm antisocial, but I don't know, like, I don't know. I get anxiety a lot and like being around a lot of people is like very uncomfortable for me. And like when you're like in a, when, well, for me, when I'm in a work environment, sometimes I act like a little phony. I think everybody does though, you know, like you have like your work personality. So I think I just, I don't know. I feel like I act a little phony at work. Like, and I just feel like I'm tired of being like a different person, like every day for nine hours a day. Like it's very like, I don't know. It's just not me. I mean, it, I am myself, but I'm not like myself. Like I'm not, I feel like I can't say the things I want to say. Like I get, I actually get like a lot of work done. I work faster I feel like I just kind of zone out put some music on in the background and like get my work done okay so next we're gonna switch to the carnival palette the shade wifey this is the same palette that made this um, brush blue <laughs> this brush was white before and now it's blue because of this palette maybe, let's see if it'll now because of the pink maybe it'll turn purple when I when I wash it next time Brush that right along the edge. I'm gonna round this out like around my eye. Making sure these edges are really nicely blended. Oh, and this brush is a Morphe, a Morphe M562. I'm watching YouTube tutorials in the background. Right now I'm watching Tammy Clark. I love watching Tammy do her makeup. Oh, I like the way this is turning out, girl. I like the way this is turning out. 2018 was also the year I started my channel, which was my goal in 2017. I said, you know, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a very long time. I just, I get so nervous and I didn't know like, what do you do? Like, how do you start it? Um, like I said before, a lot of YouTubers just say, just start the damn channel, like just, just record. But it took a lot for me to like actually start doing it. But I'm glad I did. I really like it. Like I even like editing. I know I say that now, but I know everybody always complains about like editing videos and stuff, but um, I don't mind it. I had to watch a lot of videos to learn how to do it. Been okay so far i use imovie to edit my videos so yeah I'm, I'm happy i started my channel like i'm just now i just want people to watch the videos <laughs> i want people to watch the videos i want people i want to talk to people like i want to be very like active in the comments and stuff like that's why i really started the channel because i don't really have too many people to talk to about makeup it's just really my sister she She's the only person that like cares about makeup as much as I do and you know when people don't like when people don't like care about makeup that too much it's kind of hard to talk to them about it because like I could talk about makeup all day 
it's like a passion so i just want to find people that people where it's also their passion and they just want to we just want to talk about makeup that's all i want to do i just i just want to talk i just want to talk about makeup so that's why i want to come to youtube because you know you have people that specifically are watching you because they like the same things that you like or you know they want to learn how to do what you like and even provide suggestions or you know recommendations like I'm here I'm here for all of it going back with that um, amethyst shade and I'm just you know deepening up that bringing that color back if y'all hear my stomach growl please don't mind it I haven't eaten yet I'm, all, I'm already like all the way up to my brow bone I didn't mean to go this high up but here we are have y'all been um, seeing people use those velvet makeup sponges I'm seeing a lot of I'm I'm watching Tammy and she just used it I'm seeing a lot of people use it. like I saw Nikki tutorials use it I've seen makeup Shayla use it they're only like six dollars too so I wonder like they say because it's velvet like it um the sponge doesn't absorb as much as the product I'm very curious so now I'm using the take me back to Brazil palette and I'm using this dark purple shade right here this is gonna go on the inner corner and outer corner and right up in that crease. This is a Morphe E36 brush. I'm trying to decide if I wanna use purple. Per decide if I wanna use purple or pink glitter. I don't know yet. I feel, well, when I cut, when I cut my halo, I have to make sure that I get this right. I always put it in the wrong spot. It's a difficulty I have with halo eyes sometimes. It's like where to put the halo exactly. Kind of look straight ahead and do that right there. Yeah. This one is off for sure. But that's okay, we can fix that with concealer. I'm just going through and making sure everything is, you know, blended nicely. I'm gonna take this wet and wild brush and um in the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, I'm gonna use um this light pink shade right here. Put this on the edge so it's like softer on the edges. I'm good, I'm good. So to cut my crease, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. concealer brush. It's nice and flat and small. Got a nice little rounded end. P. Louise, uh, the P. Louise base, same one that we used. Put some on the back of my hand. And I don't like to talk when I do this cause y'all know. Y'all know it's a struggle. Hopefully I can fix this halo on this eye cause it's, as you can see, it's like off center. So I want it to be like right. I'm not loving this brush to do this. It's like, it's not flat enough. I can't find, I like to use this one um, Morphe brush, but I can't find it. I feel like this is still off. It is, it's still off. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. You make mistakes, just keep on going. Keep on going. It's gonna come out cute still. It's still gonna come out cute. It's definitely off, but we are continuing on. If anybody has any good recommendations on brushes that are good to cut the crease, let me know because um, I'm not liking this one and I can't find my Morphe one. I think Mac might have one, but I'm not trying to pay Mac brush, brush prices, okay? I ain't trying to do all that. We're gonna use the shade Twilight. It's this shade right here. I'm gonna put that on in the center. Take the shade Amethyst and put this right on the inside. Kinda wanna pack it on. Y'all, I hate this eye so much. It's just, it's so off the halo should come all the way in 
I might try to take some of that shimmery shade and just kind of stretch it out a little bit because it's just like it's not cute to me it's not cute the deep shade from the take me back to brazil palette let's put that back out here and the same for the inside crease the inside corner let's see if i can fix this eye a little bit so i'm gonna take a detailed brush and i'm gonna go back into that twilight shade i'm gonna see if i can like help the cut crease and i'm gonna spray this with some fix plus I just want it to come out a little bit more. I mean, it's not gonna be as pigmented, of course, because of the concealer, like, you know, I mean, the base, like, that's the point of cutting the crease. But I'm just gonna try to fix it a little bit so it's like a little bit more even. It's a little bit better, but I'm just gonna stop messing with it before it gets worse. Like, this one looks good. This one looks good. This one is like struggling. I use um, Harper's Halo. I already have glitter all over my hand. Loose glitter is a struggle. In the NYX glitter glue, I'm just gonna take that same detail brush to put on the glitter. I mean, to put on the glue. Pull it on. Oh no! Don't go up there, girl. Uh uh, you in the wrong spot. I'm gonna dab it. I'm just gonna put it sporadically throughout here just a little bit of glitter just a little bit of glitter okay this is why i don't like working with loose glitter it's always a problem i'm gonna take a makeup wipe and wipe off my face because there's glitter everywhere glitter be gone glitter be gone so this is the eye look. Focus on this eye. Keep on moving on, cause if I keep looking at this eye, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna do a wing or anything. I'm just gonna do a line. And this liner is really good for that, cause it's nice and thick, and it's just gonna. If there's any glitter down here, which I don't think there is, it's just gonna be able to go right over that glitter. So I'm just gonna draw like a. A nice eyeliner, a nice line. <sighs> I be holding my breath, y'all. I hold my breath when I do this. Whew. About to pass out. Mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. And these lashes. I feel like these look cute for this look. It's not, they're not too much and they'll let, allow you to see the look through the lashes. I don't know where I got these lashes from. I think I got these from Shop Miss A. I think these were like a dollar. These were the dollar lashes, but I'm pretty sure these came from shopmissa.com and they were only a dollar. So the lash glue that I'm using is the Callas Lash Glue, C-A-L-L-A-S. I got this off Amazon and I saw Makeup Shayla use this and I love it. It's a nice black lash glue and it's cheap. Sorry if I'm starting to get quiet, but I'm hungry, bruh. <laughs> I'm hungry. Um, primer that I'm using is a sample packet. This is the Hourglass um, Veil Mineral Primer. I have used this before. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. I keep just getting samples because sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't, but let me see. Let's give it another shot. If I like it this time, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it like a quick plan girl. It's like a hue, like a purple tint to it. I, use, I got way too much out the pack. But it's so smooth. Yeah, I think I'm gonna buy this. And you don't need a lot either. Like I definitely put, took too much out. You don't need a lot at all. Like it goes on, it spreads really nicely. The doctor said I need a vacuotomy. I smell food. So while that other lash is drying, the foundation that I'm using today is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation and I am in the shade Sienna. Get that neck, girl. Get that neck, girl. So I'm taking the, um, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep. I kind of want some sushi. 
I always watch some shit. To set my concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Whoops, that was too much. I keep thinking somebody's like walking by my window. It's freaking me out, man. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the under eye. I'm gonna use this one brush to do all the, I'm gonna use this one brush to do all of it. I'm taking it, I'm cleaning it in this little um, brush cleaner. This is by Crayon Case. So first I'm using it, um, going in with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and that deep purple. I'm taking Amethyst in the Huda, Huda Beauty palette. I'm gonna take that wipey shade. Lay that on this lash. Now stay put now. Trying to be in grown folks business. Stay in your room. Stay in your room. So I'm gonna take this purple liner. It's called Glitter Purple and it's by Sephora. I wish it didn't have glitter in it, but that's okay. It's okay for the, since I have glitter on my lids anyway. I just hope I don't get any of this glitter in my eye. Y'all see that? It's cute, it's cute. Now I'm gonna bronze and contour. The bronzer that I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Mahogany. This is a very subtle bronzer on me. Very subtle, but it's cute. I really like it. It's a nice matte bronzer, but this is the darkest. This is the um, this is the darkest shade that they have. So yeah. I mean, I appreciate the shades, but can we get a few more, please? Contour. I'm using the Black Radiance contour palette. Highlighter. I think I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty highlighter. And this is in Ginger Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And I think I'm going to use both of them. <laughs> so first, I'm going to go in with Ginger Binge. I'm going to take Moscow Mule. I don't know why it's looking gold, but it's definitely, got, it's definitely pink. For my nose highlight, I'm taking the Anastasia Bat Glow Kit. I'm gonna take the shade Drippin' in Gold and just put that right on the tip of my nose and right there. Oh, I need inner, inner eye highlight. For my inner eye highlight, I'm gonna take the same Fenty Beauty highlighter, um, Moscow Mule. <sighs> yes, girl. Yes, girl. Yes. Come on now. Mm, Y'all are feeling cute. Okay, ooh, what am I gonna do for lips? What am I gonna do for lips? Okay, so I'm going to line my lips with Grunge by ColourPop. And I'm taking Colored Rain again, but this shade is called Bachelorette. I'm going to take that shade Mars and put that in the middle of this. That's better. That's better. The other shades was just looking a little, a little too pink. A little too pink for me this clear gloss this is by uh grande lips and it's a hydrating lip plumper it's just a clear it's not clear anymore because i use it with every lipstick so just gonna okay i'm gonna spray my face with some fix plus oh she did she about did y'all Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Y'all, we did it. Hold on. Get my girls in here. Get my girls in, in line. We did it. We made it to the end of this look. It's been over two hours, but we pulled it together. We made some mistakes. I hate this eye. Glitter everywhere, all over my body and face and eyes. But this is such a cute look. Perfect for New Year's, 
Cover for any party, any occasion where you want to stand out and be that, be that chick in the room. Be that chick. What do y'all think about this look? Do you like it? Am I cute? Let me know what you thought of this tutorial. Let me know what you thought about this video. I'm sorry I got kind of quiet at the end. I'm very hungry and I'm just all I'm thinking about is food. So if I talk, it was just going to be about food. So, but I hope you had a good time. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye and have a happy new year.